In this video, we are going to be making a block which can slide smoothly, one square at a time. Uh, it's, a, it's a fake block really, because it's an armor stand that's carrying the block. But let's get started. I am going to build a little tower here. Now this is just for reference. And I'm going to get the coordinates of this block. Fill, tab, 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 copy. Okay, now let's start my command. This is going to be quite a long command. This will be definitely a, a video where looking at the notes will be helpful. But I will get started. I'm going to summon an armor stand at the coordinates I was just looking at. Put a button. Bang, got a problem already. It's falling down. Okay, let's give it some tags. No gravity. Perfect. Now let's make it easy so we can target it, uh, which we will do by giving it a custom tag. Hello. There we go. And a custom tag I am going to give it will be moving block. Okay, now we should be able to target it. Kill all entities with the tag moving block done hey we're getting somewhere okay now we need to give it a passenger this is going to be the block so p a s s passengers there's going to be our list of passengers let's create one passenger that's our first passenger going to go in there and I'm also going to make a space for another passage so I've got two passengers I'm going to do the second one first the order doesn't matter it's just it, this will be easier to find if it's right at the beginning of the green text so ID and this passenger is going to be a falling block okay now it won't work if we do if we do it now, because the falling block needs a time, there's our falling block. Let's give it a time. Um, let's give it a big one, two, three, four, five, six, minus nine thousand at uh, nine million. That's going to stay for a while. There we go. There's our block. It's slightly misaligned here, and I wanted it here. So it looks like we're about too high. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there's another problem. We need to tag the falling sand. So time, after the time, tags, moving block. And the other problem was it was too high. So let's go for 55. Ah, now. What's the problem? Okay, because it's got gravity, the falling block hit the ground and died. We don't want that. Let's take away the falling block's gravity. So we will go in to our falling block. Oh, there's our falling block. There it is. Anywhere in here. No gravity. Let's try it now. Actually, let's get rid of that arm stand. That's better. Still, now it's too low. Okay, well, the strange number we need, 55 point, and then it's going to be 5187. That is just the number you need for it to line up perfectly. As you can see, now it's, now it's nicely lined up in there. Okay. Let's change what it looks like. I wouldn't mind having a quartz block. So ID falling block anywhere in here. Let's give it a block state. And its block state is going to be what it looks like. So a name uh, quartz, quartz block. Oh, now we obviously made some sort of mistake there. Let's go back and have a look. 
quartz block. Well, that would be the mistake. Quartz block. There we go. Ah, now we've got a quartz block. And let's make the arm stand invisible now. So right back. Passengers at the front. Let's keep passengers at the front. Let's add this to the very end. Invis... Invis-able. I can't spell today. And that should be a colon. Invisible 1B. Now it's invisible. Excellent. We can walk through this block. Let's make it so we can't walk through it. So get rid of that. And for that, we're going to have another passenger. And that is why I put this little one in here earlier. That's our next passenger. And its ID is going to be a shulker. OK. First of all, we want the shulker to be quiet. So let's give it a silent tag as well. And I don't want it to attack me. So let's give it no AI as well. And I don't want it to drop its item when it dies. So death loot table should be empty. OK. What happens now? There it is. It's overridden our block. And I don't think we gave it a tag. So we don't kill it. OK, kill at entity type equals shulker. But it didn't drop his item then, so we know that bit's working. It wasn't moving, it wasn't making a noise. So let's go back to our first passenger. ID shulker, there we go. And in here, let's give it a tag. Tags. And I'll give it the same tag as all the others. It's a moving block. Right, now we can summon and we can get rid of. It does do that rather nasty death animation. We'll be sorting that out. Let's make it invisible. Because we don't need to see it, we just want its hitbox. So let's go to ID Shulker. There we go, let's go after there. We're going to give it an active effect. Active effects. We're only going to give it one, so that will go in there. Our active effect has an ID number, so we can check for the ID numbers of the effects. And I happen to know that invisibility is 14, so ID 14. We will give it invisibility. Amplifier, how strong? One will do. It's either invisible or not. Uh, we need a duration. How long will its invisibility last? Well. One, two, three, one, two, three, nine million ticks. And we don't want to see the particles. Show particles. No. Okay, let's try it now. Now we've got our block. But we can't hmm, we can't walk through it now. We hit the shulker box. So now it's much more like a real box. We can climb up. Excellent. Okay, so we could have, maybe this is our bridge and our way out. And if this block isn't here, we can't get out. Oh no, what can we do? So, no way up. We need to be able to move that block. So let's get a repeating command block. Here we go. And it's going to need redstone and it's going to repeat. And we are going to execute as any entity with the tag moving block at itself run teleport itself the same x, y, and z, but we're just going to change the y by 0.05. Done. If we put a button on here, that will provide redstone for as long as the button is down, which just so happens to be enough time for the block to move exactly one square. So we still we still can't get up there. So we're gonna point at this command block, press control, 
middle mouse button to copy it and all we're going to do is change this to minus we want to go down there we go so we arrive in the room we can't get up the stairs there's no way up we do something and that slides the stair down and now we are capable of getting up wonderful there we go but when we kill it we hmm, see that's not a very nice effect we don't want all that smoke we don't want um the little head wiggling around as much let's get another command block here always active chain and let's copy this command to cut that command and we'll put it in here this command we will execute as any entity with the tag moving block at itself we will run we will teleport itself to the same x minus 10 so that's down into the void the same Z so that should now teleport the three things we have here straight down into the void that's pretty quick it looks better it looks better than it did there we go so there's our block and we can slide it up and we can slide it down and if we want to, we can jump on top of it. There we go. So we can climb up. And um, what you can do as well. Oh, there's two. That's no good. We can create one. And here, when we kill it, we could actually set a quartz block in its place. That's probably a good idea. So let's get the coordinates of this block here fill tab 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 so we've got this block and we need to go one in that direction which is negative x yeah negative x so we need to take one off set block there quartz quartz block we need to take one off the x there we go so now we're going to teleport it down into the void we're going to kill them and then we're going to set a quartz block so what you could do the person comes in they complete the puzzle the block slides down and then kill it and now we've just got a normal block sitting there we don't have three entities taking up memory we've just got one block excellent okay you can move it any direction you like i would say though if you do move it into a wall it doesn't look very nice let's create one and let's see because it's not really a block you can slide it into a wall so you're going to watch out for that you don't want to be sliding it into walls we can just put a minus on there to bring that back out again there we go in fact I think the shulker there yeah that was in the wall too long and the shulker suffocated so now we can walk through the block so there's a little bit of a problem to keep your eye out for we don't want that happening okay so but that is how we create a block which we can slide around the floor nice and smoothly